Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Master Topic. I am your teacher, Carl, here to guide you through all things Topic 1. And today, I'm going to give you some topic tips, specifically some study habits, to help you out on your way to Topic 1, or maybe even Topic 2 if you are in studying for that right now. All right, so first of all, we're going to say that you have about a month or two to study for the topic test. Um, if you have more time, then that's good. But I would say specifically preparing for the test itself, I'd say even just one month is enough, especially because with the topic one, really is this about the vocabulary you know. So before you study for the specific test in, of its, in and of itself, build up your vocabulary. You know, maybe take some time just to do a lot of reading, study a lot of vocabulary, and then that will help you a lot once you go through the different um, types that come out on the test with me in this course, right? So again, so you're only going to need a month, maybe two if you want to be on the safe side uh, to prepare for topic one. And so how much are you going to be studying for that? At least every day during the week, all right? So maybe take the weekends off. You don't want to um, overwork yourself for this, right? And if you have the time, I do want to suggest that you study at least two to three hours a day, especially um, in the beginning, right? Once you get closer, you might want to kind of dial it back a bit or, um, you know, maybe not necessarily spend as much time really focused studying. Though I will say for these two to three hours, it doesn't necessarily need to be all um, solving questions. It could be watching K-dramas or it could be um, looking at your favorite idols' tweets or looking at their Instagram posts and trying to figure out what they're saying on there. Those are all valid options for studying. Though I would put at least um, aside time to go over one of the classes with me. Those classes are going to be about 15 to 20 minutes long. And so at least take maybe a half hour out of your day to do at least one of those classes a day. Two would be even better if you could kind of do that all at once. One reading, one listening, mix it up as you want, right? So just make sure that whatever you decide, make sure you stick to that schedule and then you'll be able to pass the test in no time, okay? All right, so what are we gonna study? For the listening section, um, if you've already listened to the class or if you're still going to take the class, there are 10 different question types that the, all of the different questions are split up into, right? And so, and with the reading as well, there are 10 different question types, right? So they're all split up into certain question types, and you will have multiple questions for each of those types. And so it really does help studying for the test specifically if you know what you are going to be looking at going in, okay? So maybe just make a plan for yourself. Like I said, maybe do one listening and one reading a day. Or maybe you'll do one day of listening and then one day of reading. Or maybe you'll do all the reading first and then all the listening and then review later, right? Whatever works for you, that is going to be the best um, schedule because you know how you study the best. And then for the vocab and grammar, like I said at the beginning, topic one is all about the vocab and the grammar that you know. And so find um, beginner level vocab and grammar, maybe textbooks, or you'll also be able to find a lot of stuff online that will be able to help you out with that. Um, and I'll get to some specific sources uh, later on. Um, right, so how are we gonna study? So study the 20 questions using courses or books. I would recommend the master topic course that I teach because that really does a great job of breaking down the different question types and um, giving you different strategies for solving all of those question types. All right, and then review every day and put stars by words or expressions that you don't know or to sentences where maybe you understood all of the words, but for some reason it didn't click in your mind, and then you have to go over that a couple of times. But reviewing is even more important than that initial learning period, because as you review, that's how things really get kind of um, stuck in your brain and how you remember them long term, okay? And then at the end, or maybe even at the beginning, before you start studying, you can look at previous topic tests You'll be able to find um, actual previous tests online. Um, they did change the format of the test, I believe, in 2019, 
um, recently. So make sure that when you're studying, it's for the new topic test and you're not using too old of materials. And then there are also plenty of mock tests that you'll be able to find online. Okay, so just kind of look for those and you'll be able to find different ways to study like that. All right, so for learning materials, like I said, the topic website will have a lot of different th um, things you can learn. And then um, for topic material, you also have the master topic website. All right, and so what do we have here? We have online courses for both reading and listening. And we have topic mock tests for both topic one and topic two. So after you get your topic one, your level two and topic one, then you can move on to topic two and they're gonna have stuff for that as well. And then we also have a lot of different vocabulary and topic guidebooks as well. And it is not written up here. I would also suggest um, in Korea that a lot of the different universities, they do have specific courses for um, students coming to learn um, Korean coming to study in schools and the levels of those courses usually match up exactly with the topic levels, right? And so if you get topic beforehand, you'll be able to skip to that level in the, they, they're called ohakbangs. You'll be able to skip to that level if you have topic, right? And so looking at the course books for those could be a little bit of help. Um, they are designed to be taught in a classroom. So if you want more um, self-study friendly material, then you'll be able to find plenty of different um, be beginner level grammar books online. But um, I would recommend those. Um, there, there's um, Seoul National University has them. Seoul Gangdae I know is very popular. Um, my school, Hangul Gwede, they also have a very good course for those. So if you are interested in that, you can also find a lot of those online. Or if you're in Korea, uh, if you go to a university bookstore, they will have a lot of those as well. So just um, you know, try to find one that fits for you and that will have a lot of topic stuff or topic relevant stuff in those books, as well as a lot more as well, okay? All right, and that will be it for the study tips. Again, like I said, with topic one, it's really just about making sure that you have that vocabulary and grammar down and making sure that you take a little bit of time to study every day, right? I'm assuming that you're learning Korean because you want to, right? And so if you kind of force yourself to study too much, then you can burn out. So just make sure you study just enough that you are getting better every day, but not too much that you burn out and start hating the language, okay? All right, so I hope you all use those tips well, and good luck on your topic test. 당신을 위한 한국어 마스터, 마스터 토픽.